amazing footage, crystal clear video of multiple UFOs while he was driving through the desert in Arizona. Yesterday, a gentleman named Mauricio Morales posted some remarkable pictures on the internet that ended up going fairly viral across social media. They were snaps of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, which does not mean they are extraterrestrial in origin. That being said, don't be fooled, there is a tremendous amount of evidence pointing toward the fact that some of these UFOs, whose presence were officially acknowledged within the mainstream using declassified documents, and hundreds of high-ranking military, political whistleblowers, are indeed extraterrestrial in origin. There is ample evidence suggesting that many are ours as well. Morales' statement on what he experienced from his Facebook post. As I was driving back to Phoenix this evening, I was a few miles past Parker, Arizona when I saw a shooting star with a green hue in the corner of my eye. I kept driving for a few miles, and noticed a small orange light far in the distance to my right. At first I thought that maybe a meteor had hit nearby, and set a fire in the desert or possibly a distant antenna light. I didn't quite think much of it, and continued to drive for another three miles. I noticed that the light was gone. I drove another half of a mile, and I saw the light appear again. This is when I realized that whatever this was, wasn't normal. I was about a quarter of a mile from the crossing between Highway 72, and Highway 95 between Parker, and Quartzsite, Arizona. I immediately pulled over and attached my camera to my tripod. To my SW direction, there were six orange red lights floating around in the horizon. Some of them would dim out, and then brighten back up, others just seemed to float, and hover away slowly. They seemed to travel in a parallel pattern with a very bright fiery glisten. I took photos, and videos and in less than 15 minutes, the mysterious objects vanished without a trace. All of the photographs are time stamped, and are not edited whatsoever. The video is slightly cropped for better viewing. Whatever this was, I have never seen anything like this in my life before. Super cool experience. I have noticed that my camera's clock is set 8 minutes ahead. Which means that the time stamps are all 8 minutes ahead. I also saw a video of the same exact thing but from the opposite end in El Centro, California that means that whatever this was, it was visible for at least 100 miles. ABC 15 is reporting that the photos were part of the meteor. They were not. The meteor struck about 10 minutes before I pulled over on Highway 95, and got footage of these lights. The difference in lighting you see in the photos is because I was using different settings to get a more visible photo of what they were. Similar footage. Similar footage from Dr. Stephen Greer, founder of the Disclosure Project and the Center for the Study of Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Known to some as the father of the disclosure movement, he was instrumental in bringing forth hundreds of military whistleblowers of all ranks, with verified backgrounds, to share their experiences and testify on the UFO, extraterrestrial phenomenon. Why are so many people interested in UFOs? The top Google searches every single year always show UFOs, and extraterrestrials as a hot topic. Every year, the masses seem to become more and more curious, which is also evident from the fact that the most viewed file in the FBI vault deals with the crashed extraterrestrial spacecraft, and bodies. Perhaps it's the secrecy around this subject that is really grinding people's gears, and sparking their curiosity. It's human nature to explore the unknown, and when information is kept from us, there will inevitably be no backlash. This thing has gotten so highly classified. It is just impossible to get anything on it. I have no idea who controls the flow of need to know because, frankly, I was told in such an emphatic way that it was none of my business that I've never tried to make it to be my business since. I have been interested in this subject for a long time and I do know that whatever the Air Force has on the subject is going to remain highly classified. Senator Barry Goldwater, Chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee
we are definitely living in one of the most interesting times in human history. The birth of the industrial, scientific and technological dash. Information revolutions brought with them a host of problems. One of these problems, as President Eisenhower, JFK and dozens of other presidents and politicians warned us about in the past, is the fact that a powerful group of people and the corporations they run, headed by the big banks, have taken control over almost every aspect of our lives. Today, many people are waking up to this reality in various ways. One way is, for example, through healthcare and seeing through the manipulation of science by big drug companies. Another is big food, becoming aware of all of the pesticides and harmful ingredients that are added to it. Another realm is politics and false flag terrorism, and seeing through the fact that many soldiers are sent to die for corporate interests and an agenda set out by the financial elite. However, more people are starting to understand our reality and thus making more conscious choices, voting with their dollars. More and more souls on the planet today desire peace, and that is made clear by all of the humanitarian and activist movements that have been unearthed. Not many souls on the planet want to see others suffer, and we have the potential to create a human experience where everybody has their needs met. This is possible, but there are systems put in place to make you think this is not possible because our economy would be completely destroyed? True, it would be, but that would be a necessary step in the redesign of the human experience. There are those who capitalize off of our enslavement, our 9-5 work schedules, our attention being put towards our own lives, sports and entertainment. We've strayed from our natural path of curiosity and exploration because we're told from a young age that this is who we are and that this is how it is. This type of thinking is changing, the anti-war movement is stronger than ever, and it's clear that if our planet and our countries were really a democracy, things would be a lot different. We are one human race and there are no need for borders. Based on all of my research, experiences and gut feelings, this massive shift in consciousness that's occurring in the human population is a primary reason why they are coming around more often.